Christian, my name is Katarina Lloyd, and actually I am here with a very unusual car actually to see around, especially in this good of shape. I am here actually, this is Hannah's um, 1989 Nissan Sentra, and actually I found this on a for sale ad, but she's decided to keep it and fix it up, which is really cool, honestly. Um, yeah, let's give you guys a tour of this car, because I don't really know a lot about these, but when I saw this thing, I was just like, I gotta do a video on this, and they graciously said yes. So anyways, let's take a look at one of the most mint examples I've seen, and lowest mileage examples I've seen, of any Japanese car of this period, especially. Because if you take a look, like, along the sides of the car and everything, there's hardly, like, any rust, there's almost no dents in it. This is a very well taken care of car. And it's something you just never see. And actually, I know that the uh, the two-door hatches were actually the most popular of these to come out. Um, this one is equipped with the 1.6 liter and an automatic transmission. So it's not like super fast or anything like that. But, you know, they are uh, a sporty car for sure. And you, know, you can see down the side. It is very, very straight. Like, holy crap. Hardly any rust and stuff like that. And it's... Again, just super, super clean. If I can get that back up. Yeah, and I'll show you guys under the hood of this one as well. Because again, it's it's not much to look at. But again, it's just so neat to see. And you never know. I don't know, somebody might absolutely fall in love with this video. Because I don't want to fall in love with this car. Just seeing it on the Yeah. And if I can find it again... There it is. And so, and under the hood, a little 1.6. They didn't make a lot of power. I think they made like, I guess some, something around 70, 80 horsepower. But, you know, you got your uh, nice fuel injection and stuff like that. And it's very simple too. Like hardly any computerization. What's cool about the Japanese cars of the period, because I don't know if they still do this, but you can see, because my Civic does, has the same thing. It's up on the firewall, you can actually see the VIN engraved in it, right? And they do the VIN actually in quite a few spots on the cars, just because in case it got stolen, you know where the parts came from. And in Europe, they do that as well. And it's really cool even to see the original Nissan motor tag under the hood here, right? How cool is that? See all the Japanese writing and stuff like that? Um, and yeah, and actually now I can show you guys the interior. And this thing's like mint inside. Like, there's hardly even any wear on anything. Cause like, take a look at this door panel, right? Usually you'd see a bunch of wear like on the uh, armrest and stuff like that. And even on like the window cranks and door handles, but that's all like pretty much mint. And like if this car was detailed out and I didn't have any rust, I'd swear this thing just came off the showroom floor. Um, yeah, you can take a look and that only reads, if I can see it there, uh, this thing has 57,539 kilometers on it, which is really neat. Um, actually, let's take it off the stand here because it's a little bulky. Let's do this in my hands. And you can see it, and like, you know, this even had a lockable gas door back in the day too, which is pretty neat. And checking out these seats, like, it's so cool to see and how sporty they were. Um, now, this one, like I said, has the automatic transmission in it. And you have, oh cool, it's actually got a cassette in it and everything in it. Nice. Very nice, very simple, but quirky too. I love the looks of these and everything like that. And uh, not that she's much to uh, listen to, but uh, well, here, let's start it for you guys. You mind? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very simple. And I'm assuming you just turn the key and it just lights it up, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love that dig, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, like I said, it's not much to listen to or anything like that, but you know, it just it's a little sewing machine. It's just, just like a time capsule of one of these cars. And like and you can't really hear anything wrong with the motor or anything, it sounds really good. You know, and uh, yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. And just and I love seeing cars like this because, you know, every day I'll see you know your typical run-of-the-mill cars, 
But then you see something like this and it just kind of excites you. Even though there's nothing like super amazing about the car or anything like that, but it's just so neat to see. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, she's actually the second owner of the car too. So it's, it's pretty neat. Um, something you never see at all. God, I wish I knew more about this to actually talk more about it, but I really don't. <laughs> It doesn't have like a throaty sound or anything to like rub it out and stuff to make it you know a little cooler for the video but still good um anyways hope you did enjoy the video and uh if you did you know please like comment subscribe all that different stuff um share this video if you liked it and uh yeah hope you're staying safe during COVID-19 good luck with everything you're working on and i'll catch you in the next video bye we got you